Hello everyone. So here we go again. So thank you very much for being here this afternoon. My name is Tinuke Fawoli and I'm happy to see all of you. It's been a minute. I'm sorry. I've been serving in other areas, but this is important to me. So I'm so happy that we're back today. So the topic for this afternoon is dads, your relationship impact your daughter's relationships you you impact as dad you impact your your daughter's relationship thanks for watching so uh, this came about from just engaging with young people now you know as my husband and i counsel young people especially in their marriages we're finding out that whatever happened in the home is now having a huge impact on our children when they get into relationships and so it's really something that we need to talk about because as parents we desire good things for our children we want them to show up in their relationships as they grow up to be happy in these relationships but if something that we are doing is negatively impacting these relationships then we need to know about that and do something about it so as you raise your children when you look at your son know that you are raising a potential husband and a potential father and as you look at your daughters know that you are raising a potential wife and a potential mother so it's he's these children are not going to remain children they are going to grow up and their life view and all that they do is going to go back to how they were raised you know whatever was in their life whatever happened whether unconsciously or consciously will shape who they become and so it's very very important and a lot of research has been done to show that what fathers do impacts their daughters and we're also going to talk about mothers you know in subsequent sessions but today we're talking about dads we're talking about how dads can impact their children's behavior and how they can impact how their daughters especially are able to relate in their relationships so for instance they learn from you how to express and receive love so whatever it is however you handled your disagreements at home that also impacts them so maybe when they were growing up what they saw was when mom and dad fought or had an argument they kept malice they didn't speak to each other for days that's all they know so that when they are in their own relationships you may find that they just can't let go they just can't they just remain in this mode of just not wanting to talk to their spouses because and then when you dig deep and you begin to talk you see that this is the only way they know because this is what happened unfortunately in some homes is domestic violence so whenever anything happens you know maybe the dad hits the mom and the child sees that when the child sees that they are sometimes they're afraid to even go into any relationship at all sometimes when they go into relationships they are kind of you know their self-esteem is damaged their self-confidence is damaged their self-respect because of the way they feel they will be treated and so that's that's really huge for us to think about that it may be unconscious but what they see is what they kind of expect and even when some women may make a decision you know i have such a bad father i'm not gonna um, have anything to do with such a person or such a man they find out that even when they get a good man they are still thinking about what happened and if this man makes any little mistake that reminds them of the horror that they had growing up then they just react and sometimes it's very, very difficult. You know, it's really making it difficult even for young people to be able to thrive in their relationships. And it's about what happened at home. And even if you have a good father, for instance, because of the father I have, I had very, very high expectations of what my husband would be because that was all I saw as what a man should be. And it really, really took a long time you know for me to realize that my father did not raise my my husband and even if he did they are two different human beings so even though god gave me a wonderful husband i still will think about oh my dad wouldn't do that my dad wouldn't say that so it's so impactful you know you're not doing it consciously but that's what's happening you are measuring every man that you come in contact with 
with your dad. And so, you know, I, I just can't stress enough how important dads are in the lives of their children, especially their daughters. It's not just that you provide. It's much more than that. There's a lot that you need to do to really, really be in your children's life and be what you need to be. Um, it's from you that they learn how a proper relationship is supposed to be run so that they know when they grow older and they are in a relationship that's inappropriate, they can tell that this is not how it's supposed to be. This is not how things are supposed to go. This is wrong. This is not normal. They can see that if they have been in a normal relationship. And bear in mind that whatever they do will be based on what they see you do. It's not much of what you tell them, but what they actually observe at home. Um, so I was looking through and I saw on these on the focus on the family as to what men can actually do, what dads can do. And I wanted to share that with you. Cherish and affirm your daughter for who she is. So whatever, whoever your child is, oh, you are, you, you're so kind. You're such a considerate person. Whatever it is that your daughter is that is positive, let's not hold back that from them. And I know that this is very difficult for a lot of people, especially men, to be able to express themselves. But I'm letting you know that this is so critical for us to be able to express this to our children, our daughters. Tell your child she's beautiful. You know, let her know that inner beauty is much more important than outward beauty, but tell her that she has that outward beauty too, so that she's not trying to look for it elsewhere. She's not wondering whether she's worthy. She's not wondering whether she's beautiful. She knows she is, because her dad already told her that. Nurture and protect her, and I know that that is something that a lot of fathers would do is to protect their children and to nurture them. Give her verbal reassurance and appropriate physical touch. So again, what you say is important and touching your, your daughter, hugging her and just letting her know that she's, she's worthy and she's important. I'm telling you, it goes a long, long way. Let her know that her man is a man of her father is a man of integrity who keeps his word, and that's what she's going to expect. That's who she's going to look for, and that's who she's going to get. So there's a lot of things that it, there are a lot of ways that fathers can help their daughters even to have a good relationship in the future, because if you do this, she'll be able to meet the challenges of life just because she's been well prepared and just because she has this relationship with her father. Uh, I also saw in this book, What a Difference a Daddy Makes by Dr. Kevin Lemon. It's a great book for dads. It says, study after study shows that fathers set up their daughters for success. And may I say, these are my own words, that if fathers can set their daughters for success, then they can as well set them up for failure. Involved fathers, whether or not they live in the same house as their daughters, boost their daughters' academic achievements, promote their emotional health, increase their compassion for others, and even bolster the status of women. So I'm telling you, it's real. We're talking to grown women and how they are showing up in their relationships how they are able to deal with situations, how they themselves are handling situations, whether or not they are happy or unhappy. A lot of this, a lot of this is stemming from who their dad was, stemming from what their dad did. And, and I know this is a huge responsibility that I'm placing on dads, but you know, that's, that's just what it is. That's what it is. You are their first role model. You are who they expect a man will be. And even in situations where maybe children have said, you know what, I didn't marry a good, I, I, didn't, I didn't have a good father, so I'm going to just try and find someone who is opposite. Even when they find someone who is opposite and is actually a good man, the moment that man does something, you know, just as a human, if they do anything that reminds them of what their father did, sometimes it can just take them back to what they experienced growing up and that can really, really affect them. So my simple message today is dad, you are very, very important in your children's lives, especially your daughter's life. 
your impact is huge and what you can do is to make sure that your daughters feel loved that they feel worthy that you let them know about you know all the good things that 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 they have that they are make sure they know that don't keep your compliments away from them because I know that you do not keep your criticisms away from them. So if there are things to compliment your daughters about, make sure you do that. Make sure you are showing up for them every time. Make sure you don't just leave it to mothers. There are things that, are, that you can do as fathers that mothers will never be able to provide for their daughters so i can tell my daughters all day long that they're beautiful and they'll be happy about that but when their dad tells them that they're beautiful and when he shows them that they are worthy of respect it goes a long way because it's a male figure and then when your daughters grow up and meet men they know what to expect and then they are not looking for Oh, someone to just tell me I'm worthy. I already know I'm worthy. I already know I'm gold. I already know that, you know, I'm worth it. You know, they already know that. They, are, they have not been put down. So they are ready to show up as whole human beings in relationships. This is very important. I know we're all praying that our children will become husbands and wives and fathers and mothers. Well, there's a lot of responsibility on our hands to make sure that that path is easy for them. So... If, if, you, if you find that, you know, maybe you have not been doing some of these things, it's never too late to start. You can call that daughter. Maybe your daughter has left home. Maybe you didn't do this when she was home. You can call her. You know, I'm so sorry that I didn't say this to you. I know that you are a good person. I know that you are this, that, and the other, but I've never told you. But now I want you to know that this is who you are. You know, we can always change things. We can always change our ways. We can always make things better. We can always start from today. So don't give up. Whatever it is that has happened, whether this child is still at home with you or whether they have even left, you can make amends. God helping us. So thank you so much for watching today. I know it's been a minute, like I said, but this is important to me. So even though I've been busy doing other good things, I feel that we also need to continue this. So thank you so much for checking in today and I hope to see you again soon. God bless.